views expressed in the videos are my observation, analysis of events, persons based on principles of astrology. It's not my intent to predict, forecast absolute outcomes, only suggest how they may unfold. Nothing is set in stone. I could be wrong, but often I'm right. My desire is not to promote fear, only inform about what we see unfolding. It is our wish to prepare our subscribers for events that could affect them, their family, their goals, and their future, to help to prepare for what you may already feel suspect is happening, and to send a warning shot across the bow and raise a flag of concern. Our goal is to help, not hinder, in these perilous times, to inspire and offer possible direction, and to reveal that a greater plan and purpose are behind all that is happening. Eventually, we will see a brighter day. If you would like to show your appreciation for our work on these videos or this channel, and also the Knowing Whispers channel, you can always click on the word thanks at the bottom of all the videos. Hello everybody, it's Robert Cosmar, the Astrology of Life YouTube channel, the Knowing Whispers YouTube channel, and also the Astrology Network on YouTube. Today my video is going to be called A Question of Karma and Luck. And what I'm going to do here is to elaborate more upon the circumstances of the 2024 election and to consider the importance of the candidate that is running at that particular time. I'm going to be looking at Donald Trump's horoscope again here, which I have shown many times. And I'm going to also bring back the horoscope of Joe Biden. And I'm going to bring in, I think, an interesting thing to contemplate. Uh, Donald Trump, as I've said many, many times, and many other astrologers have also said, has a very powerful horoscope. We know his Jupiter is stationary direct, which means that it's about ready to go direct after having been retrograde, which makes it extremely strong in the house of wealth. Um, it also aspects favorably the house of other people's money. Um, there are many factors. The sun in Rahu, Rahu in the 10th house, the moon in Ketu okay, in the, the 4th house. All of these things indicate an individual who has extraordinary, I guess you would call it luck, or you could call it luck. Some others may call it karma, okay? I, for one, do not believe that anything in life happens by chance. I don't believe that life is pretty much, you know, a total mystery. I believe there are ways to understand life, ways to understand why things happen, why things have happened in your life, why things may be happening in your life, okay? But you have to go below the surface of the current accepted beliefs that exist for the most part in the world and have existed for hundreds of years. Um, you know, free will, total free will is one of those, you know, concepts that's embraced very heavily in the West. And yet, I think that most people realize that the fantasies and dreams that maybe you embraced as, you know, in your youth uh, were not possible, did not happen, okay? And maybe that's been a source of pain and a source of sorrow in your life. But it's important to understand why things didn't happen the way that you imagined or fantasized, okay? There's a way to heal, okay, uh, when these things come to a, a pinnacle in our life, okay? So many times we torture ourselves because things didn't happen the way we wanted to or things are not happening the way we want to. And very simply, the answer to those situations is having enough humility to understand that life is a process of unfolding karma 
unfolding healing through that karma if people will allow that to happen, if they're willing to accept, in a sense, I guess you might say, their, their destiny and their fate without resentment, without bitterness, you know. Uh, and again, the other side of that coin is, is that um, to effectively, to effectively be able to deal with the things that we have been fated with in life, we have to be inwardly directed to understand, to receive guidance, to receive healing energy from the universe, from our higher self. Um, if we are constantly beating ourselves up because of things not happening the way that we want them to, um, we're opening ourselves up for tremendous suffering, unbelievable suffering some people go through because they cannot come to a realization that the life you're living, okay, when you're born, uh, there is an indication of promises, of things that can be fulfilled, that are considered to be joyful and maybe happy, and there's also indications of things that suffering uh, is going to be a part of your life in that area. And it's accepting and understanding that it is critically important to being able to find some kind of peace of mind and happiness Okay, and to understand that, um, you know, it's, it's not a matter of bad luck. Uh, it's a matter of things that need to be addressed in a particular life for a person to be able to heal and to move forward. Okay, so this is kind of the backdrop of what I'm going to be talking about here when I'm talking about Donald Trump's horoscope. Okay, I've mentioned many times that I believe Donald Trump is a tool of the universe. I believe that the protection on Donald Trump, or the evasion, uh, it seems that he is able to demonstrate over and over and over again, is the karma in his horoscope, in his Vedic chart. Okay, And I hope in this video to be able to show you the significance and the importance of Joe Biden okay, in relationship to Donald Trump, and why it is so important that somebody who has a horoscope of the stature of, of Joe Biden uh, is able to confront Donald Trump in a head-to-head, -head, you know, battle for the leadership of the United States of America. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as this particular video goes forward. Not just anybody, okay, could or should um, face Donald Trump. Okay, because if I'm correct, if karma is a factor here, and if the charts of Donald Trump for 2024 and the, the charts, you know, of, of the United States of America and different things like that, if they are accurate, um, then we are slowly moving into a very dire time in the United States of America, a time where there is the potential for the collapse of democracy and the horrific effect of that. Okay, so for those that are out there that are wondering about, well, could Kamala Harris come in and take over, or could the Democrats find somebody else, okay, to, you know, to deal with the situation of Donald Trump, they better have a better horoscope than Joe Biden, okay, and I'm going to go to that chart right now and talk a little bit more about why I feel this is important. This is something that came to me after... I did the video the other day about Joe Biden's chances in 2024, which when you look at all the factors, okay, I'm going to go back here for a second, you know, and talking about Trump. He's in his Jupiter Dasa. He's in his Jupiter Mercury Dasa right now, okay? Um, it would not surprise me, this is until 2023, it would not surprise me with this Jupiter Dasa, okay, that this situation with him and these documents and stuff, that he may still find a way to wiggle out of any criminal indictment on this. Don't be surprised if that happens. Okay? Now, going back to Joe Biden. What is it so significant about Joe Biden's horoscope? I haven't looked at any other charts outside of Joe Biden because this one factor I'm going to talk to you about is so absolutely significant in terms of Donald Trump. And yet, He's beginning his Saturn Dasa, uh, his Saturn in his chart, 
Um, it is really difficult. His Saturn is not stationary direct. It was uh, several days, about a week after going retrograde. So it, in a sense, is not going to be as powerful if it was stationary direct moving forward like Trump's is. And you can see here that it opposes his first house. Okay. Um, difficult times ahead for Joe Biden. Difficult times. And yet, here this week or so, we've seen tremendous uh, movement in terms of um, legislature. You know, the Democratic Party has been able to push through. And you ask yourself, well, how can that be? You know, with Joe Biden's approval rating being so low, uh, with people thinking he's too old, people thinking, you know, that they need to find somebody else to replace him. Okay. Why would you want Joe Biden to be still actively involved in the presidency in 2024? Well, there's a very good reason, and this is the point that I want to bring up in this particular chart here of Joe Biden. Joe Biden is Jupiter, even though it is retrograde, which does weaken it somewhat, is in the sign that it is exalted in. And it's about three degrees off of being exact, which means that it is gaining in strength, it is gaining in power. If there's one thing that this chart indicates about Joe Biden, along with his struggles, the impact of death in his life, his first wife, I think, and his son, is that Joe Biden has extraordinary good fortune and luck with this placement of Jupiter at two degrees of cancer in the ninth house. This Jupiter also aspects, okay, the fifth, the seventh, and the ninth houses. So we're talking about the fifth, one, two, three, four, and five, okay, which neutralizes to a degree this effect of Saturn in the fourth house to his, his image. Okay, and the fact here that we have Venus in the sign of its fall. Okay, so fifth house, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Okay, now let's, let me do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth. Okay, this is what I was trying to say. His Jupiter aspects the fifth house of his horoscope. All right. So in essence, the power potential of the exalted Jupiter in the ninth house is aspecting favorably the fifth house. Jupiter rules the sign on that house. This is the house of past life credit and debit. This is the house of gambling, it's the house of education, it's the house of children, okay, uh, it's the house of politics, okay, so here we have Joe Biden with his exalted placement of Jupiter, all right, aspecting favorably the other house of good fortune in his Vedic chart, which is in essence the house of past life karma, debit and credit. We have an individual who has extraordinary luck. Okay, this situation in the last week for the Democratic Party with so many wins that have been coming to them is really kind of, you know, contradictory to his approval rating and how a lot of people look at Joe Biden. But again, what I was saying here earlier, when you take a look at a person's chart like Donald Trump's, and you consider what he's able to do, when you consider his Vedic horoscope and what it indicates, you need to have somebody with a chart similar to Joe Biden's to counteract that karma, okay? In other words, you don't want a lightweight coming up against Donald Trump. You don't want a wannabe coming against Donald Trump. You want somebody who has the past life credit, the past life good fortune, okay? to be able to win against someone like Donald Trump, somebody who 
karmically, destiny, fate-wise, okay, is equal to the task of changing the direction of the energy that is represented by Donald Trump and what he is able to accomplish and able to do. And of course, this is going to be interesting in terms of how it plays out <clears throat> moving into the midterms. We'll know more so by the midterms how dire this infection that seems to be happening, you know, uh, is going to be, and then whether or not this creates a, a sense of alarm, which it probably will amongst Democrats moving into the 2024 election. So, again, if you'll go back to what I put out on the internet yesterday about the difficulties for Joe Biden in 2024, the thing that I heard when I was done with that video was, don't forget the exalted Jupiter in the ninth house and that it aspects the fifth house. Because for whatever difficulties Joe Biden may be going into, whatever circumstances, whether they could be health oriented or whether they could be age related and stuff like that, his fortune, his good luck, okay, could be a deciding factor in keeping Trump from being able to essentially come back into power and to come back into office. Um, Donald Trump as well, uh, when you take a look at his chart, okay, there are many indicators here of who he is and of what he's able to do. There's also the fact of the matter that uh, there are indicators in his horoscope, you know, of losses, of large losses. This Saturn up here in the 12th house indicates that along with his great wealth, indicated by this stationary direct Jupiter here in the second house, uh, we also have Saturn in the sign of its detriment in the 12th house, the house of losses. So Donald Trump's life would be great success, wealth, and great losses, okay? And um, there are equally aspects in his chart in 2024 that both show that he could come back into prominence and also that, you know, he could essentially lose in a very tight, you know, tight race as a result of this. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this particular insight and video and that it gives you some you know, some hopefulness that maybe the other video I did yesterday didn't, you know, include. Uh, and we'll just have to wait and see how these things play out. This week, the Democrats obviously are winning, okay, in terms of the uh, public opinion and emotional, you know, the emotional roller coaster we're on. It will get worse, okay, and uh, no doubt the frustration will get worse. Uh, and the lies will get worse. And uh, hopefully the legal consequences for Donald Trump will also get worse, you know, before the 2024 election rolls in. Okay. All right. Uh, a couple of things to note. Uh, as you noticed here in the last week or so, I have been popping in from time to time and um, answered questions about world events about astrology. I'll continue to do that. They will be unannounced. Um, but I want to do that to keep in touch with my subscribers and to the members also that follow the channel. And that um, continuing next month on the first Saturday of every month from 10 to 11 Eastern Daylight Time, I will be doing another live stream for an hour on Vedic Astrology. We'll be covering a lot of these things I'm talking about today uh, from a karmic, karmic perspective. Okay, and uh, my friend Chirayush from the West Coast, who was raised and born in India, will be joining me to add his insight into the Vedic system. And uh, hopefully over time I may have other Vedic astrologers join me to talk about Vedic Astrology and to and gain insight into that. Uh, don't forget the third Sunday of every, every month we do the Knowing Whispers live stream where we talk about spiritual awakening and awareness, inner healing, meditation, okay? And we try to 
add insights into what is happening spiritually, consciously, uh, at this time in the world, alongside all of this other stuff going on, that, you know, if you're not careful, can get you tied into emotional knots, um, because we do have a wave of fear that is kind of enveloping the world slowly. And um, we have to hope that, as I've said many times, that the price that we're going to have to pay is not extremely too severe uh, in the future. That would not be pleasant for any of us. Okay, from the love of my life, CJ, my spiritual partner, and from our fur angel, Toby, uh, thank you. Kathy wants to thank everybody who wished her a happy birthday. Uh, and uh, I want to also mention that besides being my spiritual partner, CJ is an extremely gifted uh, child's author. For those of you that have not had a chance to, you know, check her out on the internet, uh, she had a website called BarkingSpidersPoetry.com. She's in the process of rejuvenating and reinvigorating that website. Um, you know, her books are available on Amazon. And uh, if you have grandchildren or children that you think would enjoy very uh, positive, very joyful uh, type of poetry and, and writing and stuff, I suggest that you take a look you know, into her writing as well. Okay, again, thank you for watching. Thank you if you're a subscriber, if you're a member, those of you that make donations, these are all appreciated. Uh, it is helpful to know that we are reaching you and giving you something to um, encourage you, to give you strength, to give you uh, a sense of support, that uh, you're not alone in these times, these very trying times. And um, we look forward to serving you throughout the entire process of all of this craziness going on. Have a great week.